Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at Devil May Cry 3 Dante's Awakening. Now this wasn't the uh, re-release special edition which uh, did a whole lot of things like balance, rebalance the difficulty and add Virgil as a playable character. This is just the original version and uh, that means it's hard as hell. <laughs> In fact, I can't actually beat the original version. I can only ever beat uh, the special edition version. Uh, but mainly because they added checkpoints and that sort of thing, whereas this game would send you back to the beginning of a level every time you died, pretty much. Uh, so that was pretty annoying. But, uh, regardless, if you can beat this one, then kudos to you. But, uh, regardless, we've got a really great front cover, just in the logo itself. We've got the classic Devil May Cry logo, uh, but also we have a very nice uh, silhouette of Dante there. Uh, and of course we've got the great render of Dante with the sword on his back and uh, you know, one of the two pistols in his hands. Uh, you know, we've got the moon in the background. Uh, it's just a really striking front cover. And of course this was made by Capcom. So uh, over here of course we have uh, just the logo reprinted on the side. And then on the back, the tagline, Raise Hell. Uh, we've got some artwork of an enemy there, some nice screenshots showing off the game in action, which, uh, I mean, it was a quite a good-looking game at the time, and uh, it moved very smoothly for the most part. So, uh, yeah, pretty simple back cover, but uh, all, all looks nice enough. Inside on the disc, we've just got a uh, slightly reworked front cover, so Dante is now off to the right and the moon is further over here. So, uh, it, you know, it, it works uh, quite well in my opinion. And aside from that, of course, we have our manual, which uh, reprints the front cover. However, we do have a bit more of a spread this time. So this is uh, pretty much what they used on the disc right here. Now, inside, the manual is actually kind of disappointing. It's entirely black and white. Um, you know, we've got a nice render of Dante there, but uh, regardless, we do have a special message from Capcom which I'm pretty sure they don't have anymore, but, uh, you know, thank you for selecting Devil May Cry 3 for your PlayStation 2 computer entertainment system. Capcom is proud to bring you this new addition to your video game li library. Well, thank you very much, Capcom. But aside from that, it's just really a stock standard manual. You do get some renders, uh, you get some story details. Uh, this is actually a prequel to the original Devil May Cry. And, of course, Devil May Cry 2 was a sequel, as was Devil May Cry 4, so this is the earliest game in that timeline. Uh, but, yeah, it's not a particularly interesting manual. It, it will teach you everything you need to know, and I did reference it a few times, but, uh, yeah, not particularly exciting presentation. Do have an ad for some uh, lenticular holograms. Which apparently, you know, for the Street Fighter 50, 15th anniversary, you could get some lenticular holograms on the controllers. Uh, so, yeah, and of course you could get the uh, Brady Games <laughs> strategy guide uh, for the game. Which would have probably been rather helpful uh, in a lot of cases. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, let us spend your look at Devil May Cry 3 on the PlayStation 2. Very fun game, just a very hard game. Uh, in my opinion, if you want to check this game out and you haven't before, definitely get the uh, re-release special edition version. So, uh, yeah. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.